Hey, what's up guys? So we're back at it again with another episode of Hearthstone Free to Play. So in this episode, we do have to make our first deck and go and win the game in play mode. So we're actually going to customize Mage just because we unlocked two mirror entities for it already. Uh, we might as well, right? This card's pretty mediocre, but I'm going to keep one just because it is a five mana card. And we don't have any other five mana cards, you know? So yeah, we'll try to minimize the bad cards and play the better cards because Frostbolt's pretty good too. But we have other good cards. So, like, it's kind of hard to see what to take out. But I guess this card, just, we're going to have to take it out. And always Snapjaw's pretty mediocre as well. Um, we'll throw in a couple Swamp Oozes. Do we have anything big? Chill and Yetis definitely should be played. Maybe just take out a Mirror Entity. We'll take out one of those, one of these, one of these. This card's just really good. And Senjin, but Senjin's already in the deck. And then we just need like a bigger card. This is pretty good too. But I would like to fit in a Stormwind Champion. We'll take out a pot anymore. For now. Just for now, you know, it's nothing crazy. You can rename our deck here. So we're gonna name it Free to Play Mage. So yeah. Free to play mage. So let's go ahead and win in play mode for our chance to win a free pack. So we're gonna be playing versus an actual player now and there's a wait time so I'll probably just cut this out until we get in the game. Alright so it connected it only took 15 seconds I felt like it was gonna be a lot longer so it's gonna be a mirror match of Jaina. It is definitely on versus Resupian Meta I don't even need arcane missiles right now. See, that's fine. I don't know what deck I I've decided yet to uh, that I'm gonna make with this free-to-play account because right now almost all the decks are really expensive to make. So I really don't know what it is that we're gonna make. Although I have a generally good idea, and a lot of the cards I have to grind for gold simply because I'm not gonna actually spend any more gold on packs. So. We're just going to have to grind for quests because we need to buy the expansions with gold. So it's going to take forever to do that. <laughs> it's going to be worth it because it's worth trust. But for now, I have to save up as much gold as possible. Like I just wanted to buy the pack last episode just to open up a pack and expand our collection. But right now, I think we're going to be fine with all the free packs we're going to get from the quests. So he's probably going to have to hero power this, and if he does, then he's kind of just be behind. And he's not doing that. So we can just crash for free, unless he can, like, coin or something, I don't know. So we can play this. Mm, we don't have to. So yeah, pretty basic deck for now. I guess Ray Leaders could have been taken out too. Oh well, I, I didn't even see this on the deck list. Do 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 do. What is he gonna do 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 do? What is he gonna do? So he's really thinking. He doesn't really know what he's gonna do. So. So summon that, probably hero power. Squeeze in a ping. It's called pinging. Ping. You can, you can sort of hear it. So we, as, as you see, we don't really need to make any trades this turn, right? Um, why would I trade into this? Well, I could trade. I mean, if you think about it, it's a hard decision. But I don't think I'm going to trade because he, he has to make the trades for me. He's already falling behind, you know? So, since he's falling behind, I'm just going to ignore him and go face. Like, he's the one, you know, on the losing end right now. He's down 15 health. He's down one creature to three creatures on board. He has to, like, either attack into this or attack into this and hero power it. And then if he does that, he's just already super far behind and probably loses the game already. So, not much he could do. I wonder. Do you really wonder? 
I feel like you don't wonder. You say you wonder, but you don't. There goes all your mana for the turn. He has hero power. And he has a coin still, because he did go second. But I don't think he's used coin yet. Come on, dude. Oh, good trade. So this is six, 12. I'm one off lethal. So again, I'm just gonna ignore him and go face because it doesn't matter what he does next turn since I will just fireball him for game next turn. Anyways, we have it done. Locked and loaded. We destroyed this poor man. This poor, poor Resupian meta. Didn't know it was coming. That ray leader value, though. Handle it. Handle it. So he's just gonna handle everything. So he can do lots of trades here, but he still loses. Like he knows he can't get over the board. Ooh. Good trade. Alright, we gotta BM him. Like I said, it's, it's essential to the game. It really is. You guys think I'm kidding. It's actually very essential for the game. That we BM. Oh, I should've hit a power with this. That's, that's a missed BM. I don't even deserve that game. I don't deserve that game. I'm gonna give it to him. But we still get a pack, and we'll probably just get another quest since it's so early on. Yes, we do, which is play three games in any mode. Probably done that and then gone back into that or whatever. So we're going to go ahead and drag this. If you drag over it. Oh, so we get our first epic. If you drag over them before the game starts, you can like see what rarity it's going to be. I mean, before you open the pack. Feral Spirits is really good. And an epic Twisting Nether, which is actually one of the decks I was thinking of making. It requires this card, so I'm actually pretty glad we pulled that. And then Feral Spirits is just good to have. So I'm going to go ahead and edit our little deck here. We don't really need a uh, Raid Leader. Where is he? There he is. Three mana for that. I'd rather have another Polymorph and like another big creature. Like this. Fills in the five mana gap that we had. But now our new thing is... To win three games of any, or to win three games in any play mode. Oh, three win games in play mode. I thought I said in any mode. So we're just going to go back. We're actually going to play freaking ranked. No, should we play ranked? I don't think we should play ranked, but the season's almost over today. The season ends like in an hour and a half here in my time. So it's probably important that I move up a little bit to get a little better reward. But it's not going to make enough difference. I'm not going to grind up like six levels. So we just got to win three. So it shouldn't be too hard. I'll probably get that done today, like, in really fast. I think we should be able to win all three in a row. That's our, like, our quest says win three games in play mode, but we're not going to just win three games. We're going to win three games in a row in play mode. And that's what's actually important. Jaina versus Jaina. You asked for it. Oh. It is You'd think I'm not playing a free-to-play account with this hand. I'm keeping Mirror Entity here just because I can like play it at a really good time versus him and probably just get a really good creature. So How we're going to go Greetings. This hand's not even looking too bad. Is he going to Arcane Blast? Arcane Missiles? Yep. Do not do that, guys. Do not Arcane Missiles turn one. So I'm just going to summon this so he's going to Hero Power it. I would assume he's going to hero power. He might not. Alright, he might not hero power it. Doesn't look like he's going to. Sure. Like, why? Like, I would just want to know the thought process of doing that instead of hero powering. Like, no matter which way you think about it, it's the same outcome and you're keeping the other card. Like, what if I have like seven freaking one ones or something? You're going to be mad at yourself. See, that's a good play. That's a good play. I give credit where credit is due. Alright, 
So two of them. <laughs> all right, all right. I see that. Give me arcane explosion off the top. Hmm, that's good too. I'm gonna crash just because I don't want him to have like arcane explosion or something and then or arcane missiles and just kill it for free. So that's why I'm doing that. That's my thought process at least. Okay. So he's actually doing a pretty good job of swarming the board right now. Oh yeah, and this creature's stealth, since I haven't gone over to that. Um once a creature's stealth, it can't be attacked until I attack with it, so. Right now, it's just kind of like lurking in the shadows. Okay, we got to think about this play a little bit more. I think we have to polymorph. So now he's kind of forced into attacking our Stranglehorn Tiger with his Bloodfin Raptor. So. We are falling a little behind there. And if he hits two missiles on the Stranglehorn, or just one, that's good for me. He has to attack into this. Unless he's just going to go face. Actually, he doesn't have to attack into it, right? So. Alright, so my problem is, do I just leave that there and then risk losing to something stupid? I'm in a pretty shit position if he just draws both fire blows. I'm going to trade. I don't want to lose to like this random player because he just drew the two fireballs and he had the Bloodfin Raptor. I can't let that happen to myself. Job done. It's a perfect draw. Okay, so he has the polymorph there. That's fine. Was this 5-5? Five five? Okay. That's kind of annoying too. I'm actually going to play that. That ba the, the sheep value from the polymorph. Yeah. So he's going to deal 3 damage to me, but I get to copy him. So, doesn't get the effect, because remember, battle cry effects only happen when I play him from the hand. But yeah, he hasn't drawn a, a fireball, which is good for me. Just going face. New players always never trade. Like, it's so, like, it never fails to happen. They never trade. And I can still lose this if he has fireball for like fire blast or something. Please don't have it. I hope you like my invention. He can still have it, and he's just drawing for it right now. Raid leader, that's not it. Ugh. No. Does he have arcane missiles? Thank you, God. That was close. I'm not even gonna BM him because that was a close game. Not even BMing. That was too that was too close for me to even BM, honestly. That was too close. Versus Liadrin. My hammer burns with holy fire. And we get into a person who's probably a lot better than us because he has the freaking fake, not fake, the alternate, the alternate skin for Paladin because that's still the same Paladin, but he it's a it's a reskin. 
So let's see. If he's playing a real deck, we're probably going to have a little bit of trouble. But he's playing Light's Justice, so maybe he just actually did the, the World of Warcraft thing. That Swamp Ooze. Do we coin Swamp Ooze here? I don't think we do. We don't do that. We'll let him get his Light's Justice value and Hero Power into his whatever guy. and He even has nice sleeves and all that good stuff, but we don't need fancy sleeves. This is a free-to-play account, dude. We don't need alternate skins. You just does a free-to-play account. But we are going to get that Swamp Ooze value. There you go. Destroy the weapon. Hero power. Look at that Arcane Explosion value. Is he going to trade? Oh, you're going to get punished for doing the right play because I'm going to freaking coin out Senjin. <clears throat> So at least he's trading. He's doing the right play. Night Tempest 6 might actually be watching our series. Let's see what he does. It's not even Night Tempest 6. It's Night Tempest 6. Just want to point that out. Oh. Pretty good, pretty good. So Divine Shield, the first attack, no matter what it, how much damage it is, it gets absorbed by the Divine Shield. Someone called so he's going to Voodoo Doctor himself. For the king. And Storm One Knight, that's good. That's actually really good, that's a free trade. That was a really good play for him. Now he better trade with the sw Swamp Ooze. Good job, do that. Oh, up, uh, up. Uh. There you go. He kind of was, wasn't sure what to do. Now, I'm a little unsure what to do, but I think I have to just do this to take off damage from the board right now. Eventually, I'll be able to outvalue him, like, card-wise, so that's not much of a problem. But I couldn't let, like, I couldn't play a creature and just have him have, like, that much damage on board, you know? Like, this turn, I can just hero power. He has true silver. I can just hero power and just summon the Chill and Yeti, you know? So... Yeah. Boom. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Exact play. He can just attack it with the True Silver Champion trade with this guy to clear my board. But if he does that, then Cho and Yeti did his job of wasting his weapon durability and his creature on board. But if he doesn't do that, then we'll just play accordingly. I mean, if he doesn't do that, that's fine as well. Like, that's kind of an annoying card for me to deal with right now. But, like, see, he's already played out most of his... Uh, hand or whatever. He's going to go face the truce over. Which is interesting. Because I can just attack into this now and hero power that. And not care. About six damage. Six whole damage. Just, I'm, I'm not going to care. Now we'll just play another one. Because four mana for four or five is just so good. So good. Five health. Dude, that's a lot of health. That's like one six of a hero. So I, I give him props. Well, we're quickly going really low in health. And we need taunts or something. Arcane Explosion would be really nice right now. Yeah, don't trade, buddy. I, w I would advise against trading as well. Um... I'm summoning this without him having a weapon just because I need to get creatures on board right now. As you can see, he's just he was been going face all game and just controlling the board and I've just been behind the whole game because of that. Um, so I really just need to like start summoning creatures to start trading with him or else I'm gonna quickly lose. Like look, that's another charge minion that I probably just can't deal with right now. And at least he's trading into that, which is good for me. Like the more he trades, the happier I'll be, but obviously he kinda he's in a kind of predicament. He kinda has to. Oh, I don't know why he did that. See, now he just lost the game for doing that. But it's not his fault. Like, 
Um, it was kind of weird. He should have gone face with that, definitely, because I was going to have to attack into that storm when I anyways, kind of. So he sh that was a misplay on his part. He should have just gone face. Definitely. And my hero power just kind of screws him up. What does he have there? What is that? Hammer of Wrath. That's good for him, actually. That exact situation where you're drawing, just top decking cards. Draw cards are always the best. So he doesn't play that, so maybe he just doesn't have the mana to play it. So, I'm just going to do that to copy whatever it is that he plays. Because he obviously held it, so it's probably a good minion. So, mirror entity to copy that it will be really good. Reinforce. Call on the troops. Consecration, that's pretty good too. It's not the best right now for him. My hero power just counters his hero power as well. It's kind of bad news for him. And now we're just going to face with everything. And as you see, we brought back the game. Just off that one little misplay that he did, it helped us uh, definitely come back in this game. Not like it made a huge difference, right? I mean, he would have had like done two extra damage because I wouldn't have been able to clear his board that following turn. But... But we do win, and this was a good game. It shows you this little micro transaction, transaction, micro uh, decisions that happen during the game, and how much it can make a difference. Like I was getting beat on the whole game, but since I was doing all those little micro uh, decisions or whatever, it ended up uh, helping me out or whatever. So the reason I'm actually playing on my hand is not to BM, but. The more cards you play, the more experience you get and level up your uh, character faster. So, As long as we can get all the basic cards for her, I'll be pretty happy. Yeah, that's 10 gold. We got the Hearth Steed Mount, a special reward for your third win. Log into World of Warcraft to claim it. 10 gold. And we need one more win for the 100 gold quest. And we got a new quest, which is get any class to level 10. So we're definitely going to work on that to get it. And we're on level 5 already. So, yeah. Alright, back in this. I had to use the bathroom. I don't think you guys cared, but I just thought I'd let you know. Sipping on this nice ass water makes you gotta use the bathroom. Alright, so we're gonna play versus the Shaman Lahiris. Alright, so what do we're gonna mulligan away? It's just the arcane missiles. I like Frost Elemental a lot. We've drawn it every fucking game. Um but arcane missiles doesn't really do anything like turn one right so it doesn't really matter it's better like later on in the game when there's they have like a lot of minions low health or something you just do that to get random three hits and then you can hero power for like a fourth hit to like finish anything off you know so that's where arcane missiles is good not definitely not turn one just to, I, I, it's tempting there's nothing on board turn one and you can do three face damage with it right but to believe it or not it's just not optimal so let's see if we can do our little mini quest remember how the mini quest of winning all three of these games in a row let's see if we're able to do that here might be important he has a, a one drop is he gonna play it though because if not river crocodile croc crocodilisk i always thought it was crocodilisk or something but i guess it's not oh he's coining the freaking oh man do not do that either <laughs> I uh, know. Coining Totem Golem would have been scary for me, actually. I would have pretty been <laughs> in a pretty bad spot, but uh, he didn't, so we're good. Unless that card, he has like Totem Buffs in his hand, and then I'm kind of screwed too. Maybe it was good. Ooh, Voodoo Doctor. That's Voodoo Doctor. Watch. Oh, shit. Rock Biter weapon. Fuck, dude. Why'd you do that, man? That's not cool. Definitely not cool. I'm in a tough predicament, but I'm going to Swamp Ooze. He does carry weapons in his deck, so I'm not sure if he's going to play one now, and then I'm going to be kind of screwed. But Hero Powering Face here wasn't optimal for me, and I would just rather have a minion on board. As I pretend you usually prefer minions on board than not having minions on board. And I'm not scared of him having Doomhammer or anything at this too early in the game. That's Rooted Doctor. That's not another Rock Biter weapon. I know that's not another Rock Biter weapon. He has that epic though, so maybe he does have Doomhammer. Cost three less. Dude, that's good. That's so good. That was so good. That was as possibly as good as you can get. He's gonna go face. Oh, I have to trade anyway, so I guess that does make sense. 
Maybe not. I'm going to play this next turn. You're going to regret that they... You're going to regret that they... I'm not attacking. Hell no. You have to get through this guy first. That Farsight was so good. That was value Farsight. <laughs> Look at that freaking Shaman just looking into the freaking future. So he has that epic, so that's why he's playing freaking Shaman. He's like, holy crap, I pulled an epic for this class, so I'm going to play it. Which is probably pretty good. Oh, shit. He does have a one drop, and there it is. I don't know why he didn't play it here for three damage. He can still clear it, but... You get me? Like, why would you just not do the correct play? He could have had it at three for maximum value. But, because this card only gives adjacent minions, which are the minions directly next to it. But you could, like, literally pick where you put your creatures. So you could have put it there easily. Another thing. Oh, he's just giving it taunt. Okay. Okay, that's good. He's protecting that flame tongue totem with his life. He's going to go face with this. Or he's not going to attack with it. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, it, it, It's fine. Don't attack with it, you know. Whatever, just one free damage. It's only one damage, man. What, what, what's one damage going to do in the long run, you know? I feel you, Lahris. Lahris? Is that like wrist? So he has Wind Fury, so that's kind of scary. That's very scary, actually. What is he going to do? He's also going to give it time. Too bad we have this. Sorry. Oh, there's no sorry anymore. There used to be a sorry emote. We're just here power in the face because we got nothing else with those two mana. We might as well get a damage in. I know Laris doesn't like one damage, but we, we value one damage here at PK, XPK, Hearthstone account. We really value one damage. It's pretty good. So there's Voodoo Doctor. And there's that. So what do we do? What do we do here? We're, we're, we're in a tough spot, right? We have seven mana. We can play this and trade. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Now, he's probably going to attack into the Chillwind Yeti, which is fine. Where he's trading for us. And, uh, yeah, pretty good. Stormwind Champion is really good, in the in my opinion, in a free-to-play account. Is he going to attack it on him? Sure, man. I don't think you know what Frozen means, because... Always Taunt Totem, but we're going to build up our board this turn, so it doesn't really even matter what he plays. I think Stormwind Champion is... Like, when I first got into Hearthstone, I, I, I literally thought this card was, like, legendary worthy. I was like, yo, this card boosts your minions. Not only does it give one health like Raid Leader, it also gives him one... I mean, one attack like Raid Leader. It also gives him one health, which is, like, bonkers sometimes. So, so good sometimes. Oh, look, he has his own Stormwind Champion. But I don't care about that Stormwind Champion. I'm going to ignore this one and go face. Oh, you see? See, see what the health does there? So we're going to attack first to not miss the damage. And yeah, we'll summon that. So the reason I attack first before that, because if I would have traded him, he would have gone back to the original stats. So might as well attack first. Since I knew I was going to trade anyways, might as well get that extra two damage in. Get behind me. Get behind me. I know the taunt. Dang, this guy's been getting the taunt him all day, and it's one in four chance. Might as well do it like that. Not miss six damage. So, we pretty much got this game in the bag, unless he gets, like, an auto-win card here. I don't know what he could possibly summon. Literally almost nothing can help him out here. I like that noise. Oh, that might help him. Look, taunt again. Oh, it's not taunt. Well played, buddy. Frost Elemental. So that's game. But I'm going to play all my cards out just for the maximum experience since I need to reach level 10 now. It's quite important. And no 
Exacto trade. Because we got Exacto value anyways. I mean Exacto game. I keep saying value. So we did get 100 gold. But do we get another quest? We do. Which is to deal 100 damage to enemy heroes. But what I think I'm going to do is since we have to get to level 10 now. We've already seen three games in today's episode. I'm just going to super speed up the last bit. So I'm going to get the 100 uh, face damage in in those wins to get to level 10. But I'm just going to speed it up to not make it boring. So I'm just going to play some music. And uh, yeah, because honestly, I don't think you guys want to see three full length games again. So yeah, peace for until then.
It's finally over. It's finally over. This took forever. <laughs> Man, we almost lost this game because of some... What? Bruh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I really hope I get to level 10 now, because if I don't, then I'll just not understand what life is. And, uh, yeah. We have yet to lose one game so far. We got really close, like, two times. I, I did this, but I meant two. Alright, and we also get gold, we get flame strike, we got a lot of shit there. I do need card packs to improve my deck. But you're only giving me one pack at a time. It's kind of hard. Give me a legendary, dude. Give me a legendary. Make this all worth it. Nothing. Pyromancer. That's our second wild pyromancer. So not completely awful. We have no quests. So we're going to have to wait for tomorrow for another quest, which I'm okay with. We've done plenty this episode. Um, yeah, that was very long. And we have an arena, we, which we can do. Which we're, we're, That's what we're going to do next time after we do our quest. Or we could do our quests or whatever. But, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like rating. And, um, yeah, catch you guys next time.